Hello again, and welcome to another exciting edition of Freedom Footage. I bet you thought New Mexico was just some hole in the desert. Well, you were mostly wrong. Today we will take a look at some big ass mammals hanging out in the mountainous areas of New Mexico. We start our journey in Silver City, where we enter the mighty Gila wilderness to take a look at the very interesting mule deer. Mule deer are elusive creatures and spend 90% of their adult lives running away from my camera. Even on rough terrain, they can achieve speeds of up to 30 miles per hour. Let's see that again in slow motion. Mule deer are actually hybrids between mules and buffalo and are easily recognized by their large ears. They tend to travel in herds to avoid their number one predator, the giant cave spider. Mule deer are actually often hunted in New Mexico. Here we have a fearless hunter taking care of business. Good day, old chap. Good luck today in the hunt. Oh. Sorry. Well, it's time to dig ourselves out of that one and move on to our next animal. The ever-riveting javelina. Javelinas enjoy crossing roads and eating. A lot. These little buggers are omnivores and will eat plants as well as small vertebrates. However, do not be fooled by the extreme cuteness of these fat fucks. There have been reports of javelinas actually taking down a cactus. I really don't know why one would even want to touch such a thing, let alone consume it. Javelinas typically live in family groups of about 15 individuals to protect themselves from mountain lions. They have tusks made out of the same stuff wolverine's claws are made of, so they can be formidable opponents. But not to humans. Nothing can stop bacon lust. Poor little buggers. My, that does look tasty though. Yum. Now we move on to my personal favorite, the enchanting elk. Good God, will someone clean that windshield? Elk are twice the size of mule deer and weigh almost as much as a manta ray. Once widespread across North America, the Patriot Act has forced them to the western, more mountainous regions of the US. There is a large population of elk by Cormado Lake in New Mexico. It turns out that elk only feed in the early morning or evening to avoid being effectively filmed. An elk can consume over 10 pounds of grass per day. I once had a homie who said he could smoke that many pounds per day. Bull elks grow their antlers in May and shed them in March. This particular group is likely the harem of a bull elk. Well, that does it for this episode of Freedom Footage. Please join us next time for another exciting look at nature. Freedom Footage, out.